I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This week, I'm going to be talking about the banquet happening with Mentor Waco. And today, I have a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. How y'all doing? I'm Jeremy Davis. I'm the founder and executive director of Mentor Waco. Yeah, and what brought you to Waco? Are you a Waco native? I'm a Waco native. I've been here all my life. And where'd you go to school at? I went to La Vega up into high school, and then I graduated from Midway. That's super awesome. I graduated from Midway as well. Nice. What year? 13. Oh, 2016. Nice. Wow, we're so close. Yes. Yes. We might have ran into each other and never even knew. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, now tell me a little bit about your organization and what you do. All right, so Mentor Waco is a mentor program targeted at uplifting students through academic achievement and increased involvement within their communities. We're open up uh, for boys 6th through 12th grade. Uh, we just help them with their academics, we help them grow socially, and we try to get them involved in the community. Yeah, and how long have you been doing this for? Uh, this is our third year. Wow, and this is your third banquet? Yes, this is our third banquet as well. Tell me about the event. So the the banquet will be this Saturday. It's our third annual banquet. We will be live streaming it from Mentor Waco's Facebook page starting at 6 p.m. Uh, definitely tune in some of the boys, get to hear about the program, hear about our upcoming events, and ways to pitch in. Yeah, and tell me about some of the other stuff you've done in the community. I know you guys did the service Sundays? Yeah, so we do service Sundays twice a month where we go out and we feed the homeless, we give out toiletries, we work in the garden, at the hangar, uh, we, we co- do community service all around Waco, though we go to parks, maybe in a nursing home, we help individual families. So we just, we always are of service around the community. Yeah, and how have you guys built this community? What are some of the other people that you're involved with? And what are some other things that you would like to see? Some of the people that we've been involved with is uh, the nursing home Brookdale Lakeshore has been a huge supporter. Uh, Like I said, the Hangar Homeless Garden on South 17th and Webster is another huge partner. And just networking in the community at different events, you meet a lot of people that have a lot of great opportunities. Um, I would love to see more young people get involved in the community and just more people in general to give back and help our community thrive. Yeah, and tell me how people can get involved. So people can get involved by going to www.mentorwaco.org. They can sign up to volunteer. You can sign up to be a mentor. You can sign up to donate. Uh, Whatever you want to do, we'll find a place for you. And how many volunteers do you currently have? Well, we have three mentors that are staff members, and then we have about 12 volunteers that come through periodically. And how many students do you have? We have 21 students. And what ages? You said it was K through 12? Uh, 6 through 12. 6 through 12. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. That's super awesome. And what school districts are they from, and what areas? Uh, just the greater Waco area. So we have a lot of WISD students, but then we have some rural students as well. So it's really open to anyone, and anyone can get involved. Yes, anyone can get involved, yes. Yeah, and what's your real mission statement behind this? So our mission statement is just like I said, uplifting uplift students through academic achievement, increased involvement in the community, and just equipping them with the skills they need for a successful life. That is amazing. And what are some of the success stories, or what are some fun stories you want to share with me? I think uh, some fun or success stories would be just most of my boys that I started off with. Um, actually, how I got started is I worked at a local middle school, uh, they had a class of kids, there was only seven of them in the class, and I thought that was weird. I uh, did some more research, and it was because of their behavior and their grades. So um, I just started working with them every day. Their uh, academics started to improve, their behavior started to improve, and now their leaders are in the, on their various campuses, middle school and high school. Wow, and they've all done that through your program, and they've really like connected with that? Uh, yes, for sure. It's like we're one big family until we go. They call each other brothers. Aww. Yeah, so uh, we just all come together and try to help each other be great. Yeah, that's super amazing. And go ahead and tell me, um, so I know you said you started in middle school. Do you have a background in education or? Yes, uh, I actually work for communities and schools right now. Um, I've been working for WISD before that for the past three and a half years in behavior and technology. So uh, my passion is education. I'm an education major right now. I'll start at Tech in the summer to finish my degree. Red Raiders. Yes. Woo! Woo-woo. Texas Tech Waco? Yes. Shout Texas out. Waco. So um, that's my plan, uh, just to finish my degree in education and keep pursuing kind of the social work field. Yeah, that's super awesome. I'm actually a Texas Tech Waco alumni, too. Right. So that's really fun. I did communications and then minor in PR. Um, so it's crazy how it's just a 
small world and how this community has really come together. Um, tell me about some other things that you guys have done in the past or things you're looking yes. forward to. Okay, so some of the things we've done in the past, our Friendsgiving dinner is one of the biggest events we do, and uh, that is for our homeless community. We we get donations from the community. We have guest chefs that come out and teach the boys how to cook. That's and we cool. make kind of a huge feast for our homeless community. We go out and we interact with them. Pre-COVID, we get with them. Of course. But of course, this year, because of COVID, we just had to give out the food and kind of just quickly move. But that's one of our biggest events. We love going out there and interacting and encouraging and praying with and helping others out. Um, yeah, and uh, tell me more about the banquet this weekend. So is it open to the public? How can you get tickets? Okay, so the banquet is not open to the public this year. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we had to limit the amount of people that can come. But it's definitely open to the public online. We will be streaming it on live stream. So we want you guys to tune in. You'll get to meet all the boys in the program. They're giving us some good speeches. They give you a real good idea of what Mr. Waco is and the things that they're learning. They'll learn how to get involved even more, how to donate, and just get to see firsthand what we do. Yeah, and give me all your socials. You said it was going to be live streamed. Yes. Tell me where it's at. So on Facebook, you can just look us up at Mentor Waco. Our, our Instagram and Twitter is just at Mentor Waco, all social sites. Yep, and they're very responsive. That's how we got in touch. <laughs> <laughs> um, you actually commented on my Bernie Sanders meme post, I believe, and that was the best. And Love Bernie. <laughs> I, I interned for his campaign in 2016 in 40 states, so I'm a huge fan. Wow, person. that's super awesome. That's a really cool background, too. Um, speaking of that, is there anyone you want to shout out to speaking of our community and everything? Uh, I want to shout out uh, all the candidates running in this current election. Uh, I want to shout out Shara Burns in District 5. I want to shout out Keith Guillory. He's running at large for WISD. I want to shout out myself, Jeremy Davis, for District Woo! 1. Uh, Wake Eyes D, please go follow that. us on social media, too, Davis for District 1. Um, just encourage, encouragement and love to all these people running and just happy that they're stepping up to change the community. Yeah, and is there anything else you wanted to say today? Um, please get involved with the boys. The kids are our future. We have to make a difference now. We, they're leaders now, and we just have to mold and show them the right way. Yeah, and I feel like this is so important, especially for our whole community to grow not only together, but grow, you know, outwardly as well. And I just think what you guys do is super amazing, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning into this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. This has been Rogue Media Network Podcast. Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story. And just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best. And we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and Bros and Heroes. Gonna tell you about bros and foes and heroes. Gonna tell you about. Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, 
we will peel back that one star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story. Thank you.